that is called Nissan Yakisoba UFO Pizza Potato Red Chicken Master. He also sent me this, Kit Kats, and they're orange. Ichidakimasu. Very hard to uh, get the last bits, eh? Nice light color Kit Kat. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Monday mukbang just for you. While I was in Japan a few months ago, one of the only food items I bought to bring back was this thing. As soon as I saw it on the shelf, I'm like, I have to have it. And so we're gonna be eating that today and that is called Nissin Yakisoba UFO uh, heaping large size with extra thick sauce. I, I took a picture of it, sent it to Paul in Japan, and he translated it roughly for me. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, he also sent me this because I'm part of his Patreon, and he sent me uh, these crackers or chips, and they're Pizza Potato Red Chicken Master. That's what that's called. And then for dessert, he also sent me this. Kit Kats and they're orange. So before we get into that, uh, I'm gonna start this cooking thing off. Get this thing up to level five. I got four cups of water. I'm cooking it this way, just so that you guys can see it being cooked. Uh, chances are I would do it a little bit differently. I would pour just boiling water into this and mix it up. And, uh, but he said in the instructions, he said there should be cooking instructions in there, but I don't read Japanese. So he, says, he said there should be cooking instructions inside, but basically add boiling water to the noodles and veggies, wait three minutes, drain, uh, and then mix the sauce and sprinkle the green seasoning on there. So let's open that up. But while we're waiting for that to cook, I got a napkin this time, I got some paper towels, got my water, got the strainer. Let's see if we can open this up easily. And this is the coloring of this thing. Like, it just grabbed my attention right away. It was in one of those uh, convenience stores. I can't remember which one. They have a few over there. And I think defend, be defeated by a plastic covering. I also got some chopsticks. I didn't bring any other utensils, so I'm gonna have to eat the whole thing as is. So here's uh, probably the flakes. It looks like this way is up. There's a little pull tab. Oh, nice. That's probably for venting. Probably there's microwave instructions in here as well. And then here's the, so that's the venting spot. Very cool. And this is the uh, pull tab that ripped the whole top layer off. Very cool. So yeah, we're just cooking it a little differently, just because I just want it to be a little bit more entertaining. So we've got the thick goo UFO sauce right there. Check that out. Oh, hopefully it's nice and spicy. It is really hot in my house right now. I have the air conditioning on, but it's not helping. So we've got our flakes, we've got that. We've got this, we're gonna wait for this to boil. If I covered it, it'd probably boil faster. We've got the noodles, we've got uh, a few Veggies on there and some meat, dried, hot, dehydrated meat. Well, let's get into these chips. Again, they're Pizza Potato Red Chicken Master. And Sam is losing his mind. He's sitting off to the right there. And he, he remembers doing food review sitting at this table. We'll give him one chip. Hmm. Not a whole lot of chips in that bag. Give it a shot. I'm getting a few bubbles. I see a little bit of steam. It's very, um, definitely has a chicken flavor to it. A little bit of uh, tomato sauce, um, marinara, and definitely cheese. But that's what I'm tasting. Sam wants one. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a, bit of, it's a little bit spicy. I'm glad you didn't grab it. It's definitely got a little kick to it. That's basically pretty much time to add our noodles. <clears throat> Quick sip of water while we wait. Some 
some more chips. Hmm. I have never ever tasted a chip quite like this. Would I buy them again? It's hard to say. They're not bad, but I think there's other flavors out there that I prefer. But give it a shot if you see them in the store. Boiling noodles on a hot day. Not a good idea. Might as well get our dessert ready while we're waiting. If I'm correct, they'll probably all be individually wrapped. And they are. Whoops, just flew out of my hand. Well, that's it, clicking away. Hang in there. So they actually have some English words on the packaging. We've got some uh, lettuce or cabbage, maybe. Never seen dehydrated lettuce, so it's probably cabbage. All right, let's shut that off. So I'm going to strain that into here. This could be a hospital episode. So move that stuff over there. There you go, buddy. Aha. Perfect. All right, check out those noodles. They look awesome. I'm going to fog up the lens. All right, there's a little tear spot there. Ooh, very uh, oily looking. I actually brought a garb, ah, so I'll throw it in there. Then we've got some flakes. I think you put them on lash, it's just to stir this up. Smells really good. And flakes on top. It smells very uh, like seasoned salty. Let's give it a shot, people. I bet it's going to be very, very salty. Ichidakimas. Wow. Very, um, has a vinegar, vinegar and soy sauce. And again, with the saltiness. Woo, steamer. Very hot, obviously. It's not spicy hot. It could be the, it tastes like cabbage, but it could be the kimchi. Good stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you did on the weekend. I went up to the cottage. Whoops. Went up to the cottage, went into Bracebridge, made some videos. My sister made um like a chicken. Marcella kind of dinner. It's very good. I didn't tweet that out, sorry. Didn't put it on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I just ate it. Sometimes I don't want to share. Mmm. <laughs> Also stay tuned because on Thursday I'm traveling to Seattle, Seattle, Washington to uh, see the Seahawks play against uh, Dallas. A buddy of mine loves US football and uh, his bucket list is to see an NFL game in every single stadium 
in the United States. He uh, lived in in uh, Dallas, Texas for a few years when he went to school, so he fell in love with uh, the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to root for uh, the Seahawks just to bug them. And I always like to root for the team whose city I'm visiting. So when we went to New Orleans, I, vi I was cheering for the Saints. And I can't remember who they played. And then a few years ago, we went to um, Nashville. And I was rooting, rooting for the Titans. They lost, though. Uh, the Saints won that game, which was amazing. So we, uh, after they won, the city goes crazy. I should have brought a fork because I'm not like a master at the chopsticks. I'm doing all right. After the after the Saints game, everybody goes to uh, Bourbon Street and gets tanked if they're not already. But to be in uh, New Orleans, when the Saints actually win a game, not when they actually win, but when they actually, when they do win a game in their city, the city goes crazy. This is not bad. I can't remember how much it cost. Probably a few hundred yen. I can't see it being expensive. And chances are they had the prices on the uh, the rack as opposed to on the package. Very hard to uh, get the last bits, eh? It's almost like you want to swirl it with some water and just drink it. Very difficult for me. I'm not sure if I discussed this in a previous episode, but I noticed in Japan that the Japanese hold their chopsticks very close together. So that way, like this, like this close together on this end, so they can grab more noodles. So that is very hard. Let's try it. I do a much wider gap, which isn't great for a noodle. I'm gonna have to, uh, just scoop it in. Is that acceptable? Hope so. So if you're from Seattle and you know some cool restaurants to go to, leave in the comment section below. And I just might go there. All right, last but not least, our Kit Kat. Orange, I'm not a huge orange and chocolate kind of guy. I know a lot of people like those orange chocolate balls. It's like a big Christmas. You usually get them around Christmas here in Canada. There we go. Nice light color Kit Kat. Give it a shot. Oh, eat all of them. That's so hot. Mmm. Very citrusy, of course, being an orange. But eating basically white chocolate infused with the citrusy taste, and the citrus is what gets you first before you taste the orange, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by my Monday mukbang. Uh, if you want me to try anything else uh, that's popular, uh, let me know in the comments below of this video, of course and I'll see if I can get around to getting it. Uh, I live in just north of Toronto, so I have to go down to Toronto, get to Koreatown, uh, look for Korean stuff. I can go to uh, Chinatown and find things from China and Japan and, and Korea, and then come back here and eat them. Maybe even Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese type stuff. That would be very, very cool. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you again in the next Monday Mukbang.